Hi, this is Matt Bradley Shergi with more news about the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. Uh, the last video I did of this was pretty well received, so I thought I'd do a pretty big update on uh, some news that came today from the uh, Final Fantasy Portal, uh, the Japanese version that is. It is a lot better content than the uh, English version, and my Japanese is rusty, but with the magic of Google Translate, we can go and uh, try and see more stuff about these Pixel remasters that are coming out in a little bit over a week here, I believe. Um, Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 Pixel remasters are coming to Steam and mobile. So, uh, so let's get started. I'll uh, read the questions and the answers from the site and then give my commentary on them. And I hope you like it. If you like it, please uh, subscribe and like and comment and all these things my hands can't do. Why did you end up Pixel remastering? The early FF series was ported to various game consoles, but now there are fewer opportunities to play together. The development time is also different, and there is a difference in content. So this time I will be renewed with the same standard from 1 to 6. I wanted to create an environment that was easy for first-time players and those who wanted to play for the first time and all in time to play. It's also great for collections. I mean, what this answer, and, and again, this is roughly translated from Google Translate Japanese to English, it also doesn't say who the interview is with. I assume it's a, a producer of, of this uh, Pixel Remaster um, release of uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 6. Uh, I've heard rumors, by the way, that Final Fantasy 4 through 6 uh, might come out in September 2021. And, uh, and that'd be pretty cool. So just like a few months after, I think it'd be smart for 4 through 6 to drop at the same time, just like 1, 2, and 3 are dropping at the same time uh, in a little bit over a week here. So, I mean, this first question is saying, why not the original versions, basically, right? Why the Pixel remasters? I talked about this at length in the video last week. I'll have a link for that in the show notes. So, uh, they wanted to have a consistent experience. And what I think is, they wanted it to be, um, you know, there's a different expectation for, for games. And, and part of that involves, like, the difficulty of games. They get into that later in this interview. And are they going to make it like super easy where there's a win button or you push a button, um, you know, kind of like in the releases, uh, re-releases of Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, you push a button, your guys all the way up to level 99 and you turn off the random encounters. I don't think they're going to go that crazy, but there is auto battle options and they mention uh, rejiggering the difficulty. Um, maybe I, I would guess maybe less uh, random encounters or uh, maybe more experience gaining each battle. Maybe you'll see stuff like that, maybe something more... Uh, you know, severe, like, the damage enemies do and so forth. But uh, it does make a good point that there have been different ports of these first six Final Fantasy games before, and they're uh, on, you know, they're out of print, they're on consoles people don't have. I think for a while you could do Final Fantasy 1 through 6 uh, on the Nintendo DS if you include the Game Boy Advance uh, versions of Final Fantasy 1, 2, 5... Uh, 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, or I guess, yeah, 5 and 6, whatever you wanted to do it, because they did the 3 and 4 uh, 3D polygonal remakes on the DS. That's neither here nor there. So Pixel Remastering, that's where they decided to do it, a unified experience on modern uh, on modern platforms. And this next question, um, it's a good one. It's one people ask a lot. Why release these, or specifically what it says is, why choose Steam's phone and smartphone? Um... So, I mean, that's not really translated well, but what it, what it means is why are these uh, Final Fantasy Pixel remasters coming out on Steam and, uh, and mobile phones? And um, they bring a, a good point here. Uh, Steam smart and smartphone... Uh, I'm going to kind of paraphrase here because some of the English is a bit dodgy. Steam and smartphone uh, releases of Final Fantasy are distributed uh, with the first six games. But the maintenance is severe because it's been uh, over 10 years and with uh, all the new... Um, capabilities of modern phones and, you know, the 64-bit requirement for um, new apps, at least on the iOS side, is makes the maintenance difficult and, frankly, not really worth it. Also, the resolution has gotten higher and higher on these phones, right? Um, and so they wanted to remaster it so people could play the game, these games, uh, for years and years to come, right? So, I mean, the idea is they're going to do a presumably a good job with this remaster that they can re-release it over and over again on different platforms for years and years. Uh, this next part is, was really highlighted in um, a lot of headlines, uh, most notably in IGN. 
this morning. Uh, if there are many requests, I will do my best so I can play in more environments. Uh, so it's basically saying if, if people demand it, and frankly, if the sales are good enough for these Steam and mobile versions, you might see this Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters ported to something like Nintendo Switch or um, Sony PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and all that stuff. And that would be great. I would love for that to happen. So and I think this will sell um, better than people think. It's coming from a better place than some of the other remakes we've seen before um, <clears throat> on, on mobile and Steam. So uh, I'm going to buy it. I hope everyone buys it so we get to see this on consoles and I'll buy it again on consoles because I'm enough of a Final Fantasy nut. So now it says, uh, are you, the next question, porting Koopo from the original version? I mean, so, I mean, is this being ported one-to-one -one from the original version? And uh, not really is, is what the answer comes to. It says, so based on the original NES and SNES versions, each one has been renewed. Uh, I'm adjusting the game balance as it is. Some elements have not been added in past. It says transplants, but it means like ports. But this time, the gallery function and sound player are substantial. Also, it, it mentions here uh, the Steam and smartphone versions have a separate UI, so that's good to know. In prior um, Steam ports of the uh, smartphone versions, uh, particularly the Final Fantasy V and VI version with kind of the ugly watercolor sprites, uh, that are being delisted pretty soon, um, if not already, by the time this video goes up. They uh, just have the mobile interface to um, the desktop computers, right, to the Steam version. And that does not, it's not one-to-one, -one. it's a different experience on a desktop, but you have um, usually higher resolution than on a smartphone, or a laptop for that matter, um, and it takes up the whole screen, and there's all sorts of things to consider. You want it to look best for whatever platform it is on. So that it's separate uh, UI for the Steam and smartphone versions, that's that's good to see. And uh, it mentions you can play with a, it is a, it is a game that's easy to play with the controller and keyboard, and it's also gonna be easy to play for people with a touch panel, it just means touch screen. Okay, so the next one is, is a really, I think kind of a nitpicky, peculiar question, uh, but I'm not gonna skip anything here for completionist sake. The Steam bundled version of Final Fantasy 1 through 6 Pixel Remaster, they can be bought together. But um, why is it not the case on smartphones? And it says uh, the answer is, is kind of the corporate fuffery. Um, there's various stores on smartphones and there are places where there's no mechanism to sell them together. We may be able to uh, respond uh, in the future, but for the time being, this is it. Uh, choose what you want for each title. So. Um, I think, you know, having a bundle on the smartphone version is smart. The older um, releases of Final Fantasy 1 through 6 on mobile, you could get them as a bundle for, I mean, it was pretty expensive. I think it was like $60 or $69. Um, it included the Final Fantasy 4 After Years as part of that. So, the next question is... Uh, Pixel, re what does Pixel Remaster mean? It, it's a kind of puzzling title. Uh, we kind of went over this with an earlier question, but it's saying, you know, I'm, I'm redoing the graphics based on uh, pixels. Moreover, Shibuya Toko, who has been drawing um, pixelated characters since the original releases of Final Fantasy 1 through 6, is directly producing all the player characters. So she's, she's overseeing what the sprites for the main characters you control look like is, is what they're getting at. Um, although it's taking care of the atmosphere of the time, it has been carefully renewed so that it can be reflected on modern high-resolution screens. So, what it's saying, uh, what I think what it's trying to say here is, you know, it wants to be faithful, but it also wants to scale up in higher resolutions better and uh, you have to remember these um, original games, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy one through six, were released on um, these more primitive console systems, hooked up to uh, analog TVs, right, tube TVs, that would kind of um, blur the picture and, and have uh, interlaced uh, lines, meaning every other line of resolution was black on the screen. Although you had to push your, t your face really up close to the TV to, to see that happen. And because of all that, it's really something uh, 
you know, they had to design the pixels a certain way, and when you blow them up to modern, like, full HD resolutions, 4K, and even, you know, a bigger 8K, whatever the latest and greatest is, it'll look kind of weird. People might look like they have, like, big bat black uh, blobs on their face and all that stuff. So, there you go. Uh, the next question is uh, of interest to me because I love video game music. So, uh, what about the remastered music? So the, the BGM, which just means background music, is arranged under the supervision of the original composer, Nobuo Uematsu. Uh, all the songs are arranged with a good feeling. I, I, I don't know what they're trying to get at here. Like, it, it's supposed to sound faithful, I think is what they're getting at. While thinking uh, about not breaking the image of the original song, he arranged to re-express and restore things that couldn't be realized at the time due to hard constraints. Nobuo-san also does smart things as well. The sound effects are reproduced as close to the original as possible. So, that sound effects thing is interesting. Are the sound effects going to sound different? Are they going to be the same as the old ones, but just uh, in higher fidelity? Because they couldn't have um, very high quality on, on the music and sound effects, uh, in particular on the, the NES games, the first three games in the system. Uh, that'll be interesting to see if the sound effects sound really weird or, or as re better than remembered and so forth. And um, th this next part, too, is, is quite interesting. So it, it says, I heard the monster picture book is a little different. Um, what they mean is a bestiary, which uh, a lot of, um, not just remade version of games, but you see it in regular RPGs now a, a lot, where if you kill uh, a monster, he's added to this kind of in-game book where you can see graphics of, of what he looks like in the animations and how many of them you killed and, and what their stats are, what experience points they give, all that stuff. So uh, the response we get, and it has a useful picture here, monster pictorial books uh, have not been rare, even in transplants. Uh, and it's, it's after, every time it says transplant, it's, I'm just gonna say port. Um, this time they're a little elaborate. The monsters you encounter are added to a list, but there's a mode to place them on the world map as if they're habitat maps. And it's it's fun to fill the list. So what it's getting at here is, um, in this picture, uh, this, this map here is of the first Final Fantasy game. Um, and we look at 001, the first monster in the list. I can read a bit of Japanese. This one says Goburin, right? So Goblin. And... If you look on this map, it has dots, and it's showing where in the overworld you can typically fight this kind of monster. So, and it says in the smartphone version, you can battle these monsters uh, individually, and you can make a picture, and then you can take a picture of the monsters to use as a, as a wallpaper. Um, why this isn't on the desktop version, I'm not sure. You have a uh, desktop graphics for Windows and all that stuff. I'm not really sure what's going on there. The next question is a feature um, people don't talk about so much, but you know, this is kind of the bonus content, right? So, so it says, uh, I want you to tell me the function of the sound player in detail. And the response is foo, 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 foo. Uh, it, it's some kind of uh, onomatopoeia. In the format of this interview is uh, a Moogle talking to a fat chocobo about Final Fantasy uh, Pixel Remaster, and who doesn't love a fat chocobo or a moogle, really? So uh, the sound player, um, it's, it's a music player, really. You can listen to all the songs uh, from the very beginning of the game. From when you start in the game, you can listen to the music all throughout, is what it's getting at, regardless of how far you've gotten in the game. So that's cool. It's not like you have to collect 100% of the treasure in a dungeon to unlock a few music tracks, right? They're all unlocked from the get-go to listen to. And you can have the music play um, continuously and on loops. I wonder if you can have it play in the background as you're playing the game, or maybe I would just uh, open this game in Steam, for example, and have the music play uh, and listen to that in the background as I'm writing or, or doing whatever nerdy internet things it is I might do or edit a podcast or whatever, right? Um, and, and again, these music uh, is all rearranged. Um, I, I've heard clips of, of some of it from one of the Japanese videos, and it sounds, you know, better than Super Nintendo. I, I guess I would compare it to kind of some of the, um, like, PlayStation 1 sort of, like, synthesized uh, music. So uh, it definitely sounds better than, like, Final Fantasy Origins music. So, and we're getting here to the last question. What kind of illustrations are there in the illustration gallery? 
And so there is an image gallery. This is mentioned in the Steam uh, description. And the answer here is really exciting. You know, it has uh, character, monster, and image illustrations, so concept art, from uh, Yoshitaka Amano, who has done uh, character design and, and logos for um, all of these first six games, but he's, he's been brought back to do the logo illustrations for all the um, Final Fantasy games. I mean, he's I love his paintings. I have a few hardcovers, uh, specifically the Final Fantasy Ultimania uh, 1, 2, and 3 books. That has a lot of mono artwork uh, compared to the pixel artwork. And there's also, uh, it mentions in the Sanser, uh, there's chibi character illustrations, so they're really cute, super deformed stuff. Um, some of that illustrations you've seen in the manuals, and uh, and just like with the the music, all of the illustrations are unlocked. It's not paywalled behind um, anything in the game. I shouldn't have said paywalled, but, you know, it's not locked between a certain achievement or requirement. So, and that's about it. You know, this is a fair bit of information. Why, the, I hope we get a, a official translated version of this on the English Final Fantasy Portal site. Um, but uh, glad uh, people are enjoying these looks I'm taking at news of Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered, and of course I'm going to be streaming these uh, when these come out, so please look forward to that. You can follow me on Twitter at M-A-T-W-B-T, and uh, my podcast is SequelCast 2 and Friends. It's on uh, Greenlit Podcast Network. Listen to it at SequelCast2.com. I talk about movie and video game sequels, and uh, I write books. Uh, just came out with a book called Podcast You Nerd, and uh, I have a collection of short stories coming out in a, a few months, probably. More information on that, just uh, go to my website, matwbt.com. Again, this is Matt Bradley Shergi saying bye-bye and hope you enjoyed this second opinion. This for me, I guess, on Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered. As uh, Kefka would say, <laughs>